What up, what up, you guys? What up? What up? Alright, happy Friday. I hope your week was amazing. If it wasn't, at least it's Friday. Okay. First off, because this is going to be a really good one, you guys. Like, this is, like, actually very special. But before we start, I never do this, but I got to. I felt inclined to. So, today I finally got um, this really cool piece of uh, septum jewelry that I ordered um, all the way from a beautiful, dope-ass artist from Israel. And um, she's on Etsy, so I just, I, she doesn't even know I'm shouting her out right now. I'm going to have to, like, tell her this after I make this video, but check out this piece. It's got like a piece of amethyst in it. It's like dope. It's just like handcrafted. It's amazing. So if um, I kept her card actually, because we got to help each other. I'm an artist and when I see an artist that I just think is dope, I got to shout them out. Um, and it says Magnetica. And she's um, on Etsy. So anyway, I hope she gets business from Israel. If you like, you know, handcrafted silver jewelry. Oh, second, um, for those of you ha who have been, like, rocking with me and supporting me this whole time, thank you. Because then you will know what I mean when I'm about to show you this next thing. Um, remember, as I am an artist, I'm a painter, but sometimes I paint on clothes, and I was making these boots. I finally finished them. So, boot number one. They're cell shaded boots. I just got to show them to you because I'm so excited. And I'm like, oh my god, I should like promote these. Okay, and then I finally finished boot, I finally finished boot number two. This is boot number two. That's why my nails aren't polished ever. I'm always painting you guys, but they're cell shaded as if they were from a comic book. That's the tongue. I honestly painted the shoelaces as well. They have a clear gloss on them, so they're shiny, you guys. But, um, yep. And these are running for 200 if you want them. They are a size 7 in women's. And if you want to um, buy them, I will leave my email in the description box below. Um, mainly so that we can interact without it, all of our information being in the cloud of social media. Now let's get to the subject matter. Okay. There is a new trend I want to tell you guys about. Now I don't know how like new the trend is, to be honest. But it's new to me, and it made a lot of sense, and I want to share it with you guys. It's called, you ready? Bug chasing. Bug chasing. Now, do we mean little creepy crawly bugs, right? No, we don't mean creepy crawly bugs. I'm talking about the bug that gets within you um, via STD. Now, narcissists, and especially narcissists with high levels of psychopathy right the psychopath narcissist the narcissistic psychopath right they do this thing now that has a name for once called bug chasing a bug is like a disease that gets into your body now hear me out I personally am choosing to be abstinent, but there's no judgment for you guys who just want to get down, right? But if you're getting down, please always, I don't care how cute they are, I don't care how um, wealthy they are, how charismatic, how charming, watch out for charming, by the way, right? Um, usually, people like that may very well be into bug chasing. Now, bug chasing um, is people like the narcissist and the psychopath who either, one, purposefully seek out to catch as many 
unforgivable irreversible diseases as possible and they love to give it to unsuspecting victims as many as possible two they didn't seek out to catch it right but they're so promiscuous that they did catch it and they enjoy giving it to as many people as possible watch out for online dating watch out for in the street dating watch out for just don't have unprotected sex if you can avoid having sex in general for a while while you heal please just don't fucking have it like it's not that deep you know what i mean um but they are a group um out there that really enjoy giving people diseases that are unsuspecting victims and it they are always diseases like herpes and aids that you just cannot get rid of just so that your life is ruined too and notice i said too okay so i just wanted to give you guys like that um heads up or whatever i mean hopefully it didn't already happen to you if it did i love you let me know um i'll pray for you or whatever you know i really will but in my experience I was blessed enough not to get any diseases. I definitely went through all of my, you know, testing at the doctors and things like that after my divorce and made sure I was clean and I'm squeaky clean. But even if you haven't gone through testing, my thing is you have got to definitely watch out for that because with my ex narc, after he left, he caught herpes and then later down the line he got AIDS on top of the herpes you see what I'm saying it's just a a step letter to just death right and what was fucked up um other than that in general is that I he would parade his new supplies around me and when they parade them around you know they're like having sex narcissists don't don't not have sex with anyone they have sex with everyone right and i would know for a fact like damn he got him bro you know what i'm saying i would be like damn he got him you know and it's like you can't warn them because other suppliers already heard the smear campaign so if you were to come out and be like hey don't do it no right they're going to be like, oh, that's that crazy bitch that my, my boo thing is telling me about. Their boo thing being the narcissist, right? And that's fucked up. He not only gave it to as many people as possible and is still count and counting right now, right? But even the gay lover of his that pretended to be his best friend, um, that posed himself as his best friend that, that um, while we were married, and it turned out that that was his lover the whole time. I'm not jealous of that guy. You know why? Because he doesn't like that guy either. He doesn't love him either. He doesn't love him. He gave him AIDS and herpes. Knowingly. And thinks it's fun and funny. And it's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? They love no one, dude. So watch out for those bug chasers out there. Because they are really looking to kill as many people as possible and you know narcissistic people are cowards right so what would a coward do a coward would do something like covertly <clears throat> excuse me give you an unforgivable disease they would never just come out and shoot you with a gun or stab you with a knife or just kill you in public right they're gonna undercover give you a pun intended, under the covers, when you're with them, having sex with them, they'll be injecting you with a deadly disease. And what, they, what do they do? They run off and they think it's funny and they go, oh, that's number um, 800 on my belt. And they think it's funny as fuck and then they'll ghost you. And after they ghost you, they'll just let you just fall off by the wayside and die like they know they're doing. So, I wanted to um, touch base on that and let you, if you made it this far in the video, a lot of people have zero patience and zero um, attention span and that's sad and they don't belong on my channel if they didn't make it this far anyway. So, yeah, but um, no, there are bug chasers out there. That is a term now 
please stop fucking opening your legs or, or poking your dick in every fucking hole that exists. It will kill you. And people are out there purposefully and intentionally looking to give you a disease. Just to laugh later on the way to hell. Alright? So I'm glad I gave you guys that information. Knowledge is power. And I hope you had a, an amazing Friday. And I hope you have an amazing weekend. I know I will. And um, yeah. Alright. Bye.